Hello, this is Tina. In this video, we're gonna talk about uh, the updates. Uh, when we do an update to the object, and uh, first, if you make several updates, it won't uh, like uh, make a query to the database several times. It will merge into one. Second, all the updates are held in the cache, and just before we commit or before we make a new query, okay, then it will actually make the query to the database. So let me show you the example. Where's my cur where's my cursor now? Oh, here, 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 here. Okay. So here we're still using the first level cache this man. And this time we are gonna create another method which is update. Okay. And I'm gonna do the same thing which is similar to this one. So I just copy. Save our time. Okay. So here let's remove this one. Okay. And uh, we remove this one too. Um so first we make a what? We make an persist. Okay, persist will make the object into the database, right? And then we make an update. But this one might be a little bit different. So first, uh, let's not use in book because I want to show you when we're using person, which is uh, auto generated value. Okay, let's use in person first. Oh, we have example for this one too, right? Yeah, we don't have. Uh, oh, here has one. By using a person because it's gonna be a little bit different if we're using a uh, person and a book and we persist this object is in the database and between one and two it's gonna make a query okay because it's identity and then now I want to using p dot set first name to us uh, not set ID p dot set first name and this one I want to using uh, Tina, okay. And uh, by doing that, we know um, Hibernate have something called the implicit update, which means uh, for a managed object, if you make any change to the, the those managed object, which is uh, the object in the persistent context. Then when we do commit, it will automatically merge all the things, okay, to the database. Oh, no, sorry. It will automatically update to the database. And this update is not happened. Um, oh, sorry. This update only happened just before the commit. So let me see. Let me show you. Three. So when we do update here, it's just updated to the object in the persistence context. It's uh, the cache, okay, the object in the cache. It actually not make a query. Only when we commit or flash, it will make a query. So let me run this one for you. Uh, main dot uh, update. So update a hold in the cache, okay. The f when you change the object, it only change it to the cache. It want to go to the database. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Okay, so take a look at. Um, we have a person, and when we persist, since this uh, primary key is auto generate and identity for sequence is also different. Okay, um, and then between one and two, you have uh, insert. Between one and two, you have an insert. And then when we call set, okay, you could, between two and three, okay, two and three, nothing is happened. Because this set is only changed in the cache, okay? And then before the commit, like three and four, we need to commit. Commit and say, okay, uh, this uh, Tina is different from a database. In a database, it's a M-I-S-S, okay, miss. So I have to do an update. So between three and four, you have an update. So the update are hold in the cache. And suppose you have a several update like this one. Uh, P dot set last name to be uh, Y, 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 Y. Okay. 
and then I will change this one to be 4 and this one to be 5. So we have a two update. One is the change the first name, the other one is the change the last name. Both of them at this time it's gonna be make the change to the cache. Only when we commit it will make a query. So let me show you. Okay, good. See, so take a look at. Uh, first one, this is insert, is made by this one, and during two and three, nothing, right? And three and four, nothing. And just uh, before we commit, you have a statement, which is the set first name and last name at once. So the update are uh, hold in the cache, okay? And if we're using book, it's gonna be slightly different. Okay, suppose we're using book, okay? Book, B, book, let me copy. And here we em dot persist book. Okay. And I'm gonna comment this one. And comment this one. And I'm gonna using book dot update. Uh, so set the title to be spring. We cannot change the ICBN. ICBN is a primary key. So if I predict correctly, it's gonna only has one insert. Let's see, okay. But I'm not 100% uh, uh, sure in this case. Ah, uh, it has two. Anyway, I would think it's gonna have one. The problem is, uh, oh, we talked before, the book gonna have, uh, um, when we persist, it's already have the primary key. So it want to make a shoot to the database. We already talked about it before, this one. Only when we, it will insert, only when we commit or flash or before the query, uh, before you make a query. So between one and two, you can see nothing has happened. Between two and three, nothing will be happen because the update are uh, hold in the cache. It only make the change in the cache. And before the commit, I was thinking it's gonna be very smart, like the update and remove. I will show you an example later. Uh, of obvious, it's not like that. I was thinking because I make a insert, right? Then I make an update. I was thinking they're gonna merge into one. Only has one insert, which is this one will be override this one to do the insert. It didn't do that, that way. It have an insert, which is to persist this book. And for this spring, they issue another update to change the title. Uh, anyway, the main idea here is when we do an update on the managed object, those updates are hold in the cache, okay? So that's it for this video and thank you for watching. Uh, see you next time, bye-bye.